In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're so alone, God, in heaven, exalted and generous. Yours is the power and yours forgiveness. Yours is healing and yours abundance. Yours are the gifts and yours alone grace. Yours atonement and yours protection. Yours is creation beyond knowing. Yours is arts beyond discovery. Yours are bounds beyond measure. You are the beginning and you are the end. Since the light of your mercy is never obscured by the darkness of indignity, you are not subject to disease in any form. You are too lofty for words, an image beyond framing, whose being is immeasurable, the breadth of whose glory is unbounded, the reach of whose incisive power is indescribable, the supremacy of whose absoluteness is uncontainable, the compassion of whose good works is unflagging. You turned, according to the prophet, the shadow of death into dawn. You willingly descended into Tartarus, the prison of those detained below, where even the door of prayer was sealed to free the captive and damned souls with the commanding sword of your victorious word. You cut the bindings of wretched death and dispelled the suspicion of sin. Turn toward me, trembling in the confines of my squadlet cell, fettered by sin, mortally wounded by the troublemaker's arrows. Remember me, Lord of all, benefactor, light in the darkness, treasure of blessing, merciful, compassionate, kind, mighty, powerful beyond telling, understanding or words, equal to all crisis, you who are, in the words of Jacob, always ready to do the impossible, O fire that clears away sin's underbrush, blazing ray that illumines every great mystery, remember me, blessed one, with mercy rather than legalisms, with forbearance rather than vengeance, with lenience rather than evidence, so that you weigh my sins with your kindness and not with judgment. For by the first my burden is light, but by the second I am damned forever. Now cure me, O kindness, even as you did the ear of the one who attacked you. Take away the whipping winds of death from this sinner, so that the calm of your almighty spirit might rest in me. Unto you all glory, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.